we have capacitive touch joysticks and one of the really cool things about that is we can use that in tandem with our gyroscope to sort of turn on or turn off uh, gyroscopic aiming and motion controls in games. Yeah. So right now if I'm, I'm not touching the stick, I can kind of move this around freely and, and, and nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah. If I put my thumb on the controller, I can look around with normal stick controls right. like I normally would. But while my thumb's on this controller, even if I'm not pushing any direction, I can now control with motion <laughs> controls. So I can look around and you have this really one-to-one, -one, like, really cool. exact, super precise way of aiming. And you can do both at the same time. So I can be looking some direction and look down while I'm turning or look up. And it just makes it so that the sort of things that before would be hard to do, like if you have to make these minute movements, or say a, a target's running across your screen while you're trying to get a headshot, exactly. and you have to track that target, yeah. it's super easy to use your whole arm to get that precise movement, where it might be much harder to get the exact amount of stick deflection to do that really smooth movement. Um, it's much so, mousier here. Yeah, it, it's a very one-to-one <laughs> -one mouse like experience, yeah. right? But it's super easy to then let go and not have the thing like, oh, it's like I'm just repositioning on my couch and my view doesn't go all crazy. Right. Or if I turn too far and I want to recenter, I just barely lift off the stick, recenter, and then I go back right where I was. And so it's a really, it, you kind of quickly incorporate it. Your brain like fuses those two things together and it's really easy to do like these combinations of big wide sweeps where you're doing a 180 as well as like precise little micro movements like you would do on a mouse that like track a target and, or And you were saying out. this is a this is a system level thing so developers don't literally don't have to do it. They don't anything. have to do it. If you work through Steam input, you can um, you can a developer can choose to like directly put these features into their game, but also through just Steam input at the sort of generic level, we can hook these into the existing mouse or gamepad controls so you can hook this into any game. Right? Nice. Oh, so that's really good. It's it's really sort of it feels very fluid once you get used to it and, and having this, this fine level of control um, like I, I play Witcher this way even though you don't need the super fine motor controls just because it's nice to be going along and you just have this like what's up there and you look at it and then you come right back and <laughs> yeah. everything just just works <laughs>